Well, I know that a little bit of the history because I sold it way back in 1989. Uh, that time it was in New York, bought by an English guy. He brought it back over here to the UK. And he's had the enjoyment out of it some time, owning such an important piece of film memorabilia. Now he thinks it's time to sell. So I've known this dress for quite a long time. Well, Tom Cruise, yeah, he's pretty hot now. Pretty hot. As for you, my galvanized friend. The last time it turned up, it was $20,000, say £10,000. We recently exhibited it at our LA and San Francisco offices and we had queues around the block. Uh, while it's been on view here, we've had endless people who just want to come and see it. It is an iconic piece of film memorabilia and I think whoever buys it might well use it for marketing and publicity purposes because it does draw the crowds. Now I estimated at 25 to 35,000 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if we made a six figure for some, so it could be over 100,000. There are endless things to collect from Star Wars, but we're lucky enough to actually have some of the original props that were made all those years ago uh, for the original film. So they're exceptional and can fetch individually 10 or 15,000 pounds for the head of the Jewback. Um, but at the other end of the scale, we've still got lobby cards and posters at a few hundred pounds, because I really believe one should encourage people at any uh, price level. I certainly couldn't afford 15,000 pounds, <laughs> but I certainly could afford something at sort of 50 to 100. The lyrics, I mean, nobody sort of thinks it's unusual when a, uh, a Mozart manuscript fetches a quarter of a million pounds. Well, I think people will look back as John Lennon as being as important as all those you know, incredible classical uh, composers. Um, you know, he, again, he's one of the leading lights uh, in the 20th century. Um, so to actually own something in his own right, in his own handwriting of the lyrics that he wrote, I think again is immensely important. I mean, lyrics of his are now in the British Museum and people can go and see them there. So they're already considered as, as fantastic works of art. Um, we've estimated, I think not a lot, um, up to 25,000. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we see these making 60, 70,000 pounds. Wow.